Sparrow Hospital has reported that almost 50 people lost their lives to drugs in the first quarter of this year. And the officials say that's almost higher than any other first quarter they've seen in recent years. It appears to be um, decreasing in drug related deaths from our highest quarter, which was quarter two of 2020. Um, but we are still up above most quarters that we've seen for the first quarter of the year. Sparrow Hospital's Department of Pathology recently released numbers for drug related deaths in the mid Michigan area. Data shows those deaths are up by more than 22% from this time last year. Our drug report, this quarterly report, I actually compared all of the years for, that we've been recording this, so the past four years. Um, we have record of data for the first quarter, so you can kind of see the um, increase. The data was collected from Ingham, Shiawassee, Isabella, Ionia, and Eaton counties. So let's break down the numbers. So far this year, there have been a total of 49 drug-related deaths in those five counties. That's up from 41 deaths in the first quarter of 2020 and 33 deaths in the first quarter of 2019. We always see our opiates. Um, and fentanyl related deaths tend to you know, go on the rise. Diving even deeper in those numbers, opioid deaths are up by 28% and fentanyl deaths are up by 50%. The data also found that out of those 49 deaths so far this year, 70% of those people had two or more drugs in their system. We run toxicology testing, um, so we get a quantitative result of the drugs or substances that might be in somebody's system. Now the Michigan Department of Health and Human Services has all kinds of resources for anyone who may be battling a drug addiction. And we've linked all of that information on our website in this story on fox47news.com. For now, we're here in front of Sparrow Hospital. Larry Wallace, Fox 47 News.